Hello everybody, I'm Dean Borrow with Costa Mesa Television. And I'm Steve Beasley, President and CEO of the OC Fair. We'd like to welcome you to another edition of At The Fair. All right, Steve, I gotta ask you a question and because I know you, I'm pretty sure I already know the answer, but I'm gonna ask it anyways. I gotta know, are you a, the glass is half full or half empty kind of guy? Because now that it's August, the fair is either half over or we still have half of the fair in front of us. Yeah, it's definitely half full. We've had a great first half of the run. Everybody's had a great time, but there is so much fair left. That's the beauty of the fair being as long as it is. You can come at the beginning, middle, end and have a very different time at the same fair. So definitely half full as we speed into the second half. And as we move into the second half, what would you say was the biggest surprise of the first two weeks? Uh, two things really, uh, certainly the deep fried Kool-Aid, I gotta admit I was a little skeptical to start, but after I tried it, I decided, as I said, it works. And secondly, the, most, the, the best surprise of it all was our Rise and Shine promotion that happens on the weekends, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. First hour of the fair on the weekends is $2 per person. The public has really responded to that and we're very happy. And you and I had talked about that off camera about what a great deal that is, especially for families. Yeah, well, typically a family of four would pay $34 to get into the fair. If you come Saturday or Sunday between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., the whole family gets in a four for $8. Well, one of the things that's never a surprise at the fair is the popularity of the food. And we get a special treat this week as we go backstage with Steve. Backstage with Steve. Okay, welcome to another segment of Backstage with Steve. We are at easily the most exciting place on the whole fairgrounds, and the place that excites me most, we're at Chicken Charlie's right now. Chicken Charlie is the ultimate pitch man, and he serves the ultimate great food product, whether it's deep fried or something on a skewer. Today, we're gonna to take you backstage and look into Charlie's wagons and look at exactly how the magic is done. Let's go on in. All right, this is exactly the stuff I've grown up on. I started at the fair when I was 12 years old. This has been my staple diet for years now. Look at wonderful fried zucchini, fries. That's just the start of the fried food here. Now I want to introduce you to the fried food king. His name is Chicken Charlie. Come on. Charlie. How you doing, sir? Good, good. Everybody, this is Chicken Charlie. He's easily the most popular guy, well, second most popular guy on the yeah. fairgrounds. Um, <laughs> hey, Charlie, I got a couple questions for you that our viewers want to know. Um, it's such great food that you serve, but tell us a little bit, like, in pounds, how much you serve per day of different types of foods. Yeah, sure. Like, um, the ribs this year, they're brand new. We yeah. go through about 500 pounds a day. Wow. Yeah, wow, our wow. chicken kebabs, we do about 3,000 pounds a day. Wait, 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 3,000 pounds 3, 000, a day? 3,000 pounds a day, unbelievable. And our zucchini, which I use a curly machine to run it through, right. we do about 1,500 pounds a day, just to give you an idea. 1,500 unbelievable. pounds. And, that's, and that all goes to the fairgoers as they come up and get their fried zucchini or their fried ribs. Right. This is something, see, that you can't see anywhere but on Backstage with Steve. And so as you get your fried ribs, you know that he puts out how many pounds again? Yeah, we, fried we ribs? do 500 pounds of ribs a day. 500 pounds of ribs a day. Now, it's unbelievable. this is great food, but you know Charlie is also the king of deep fried everything. So this is the moment I've been waiting for. Charlie, I've been told that you can deep fry anything to perfection. Is that right? Absolutely, of course. <laughs> okay, I got an idea then. Before we leave, we're gonna test Charlie's theory about anything can be deep fried. Hold on just a second, let's go over here. Okay, Charlie, you said you could deep fry anything. Absolutely. So, let's give this a go. We're gonna deep fry this microphone windscreen, okay? So, come on, we'll see how good Charlie really is. Okay, let's see how good that is. I love is. it, let's okay. deep fry this. How right do you here. do that? Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this thing here uh -huh. and dip it in a batter. And if this works, then you can also do a clown's nose, too. That's but right. let's try this first. I'm dipping it in a sweet batter. Yeah. I'm okay. dipping it in a sweet batter, and what I'm going to do basically is just pick it right out of the batter uh -huh. and drop it right into the oil over here. Excellent. That looks great. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, let me try it. Okay, deep fried microphone screen. Oh my God. Oh, look at this. That is really this. good. Hmm. What do you think? Does Delicious. it work? All right, I think it's going to be on the menu next year. Next year at the OC Fair, Deep Fried <laughs> Microphone. <laughs> All right, Charlie, thank you very much for thank letting you. us backstage. <laughs> this is another segment of Backstage with Steve.
backstage with Steve. Did you really do that to my microphone windscreen? Yes, we did. And you know what? Surprisingly, it tastes a lot like chicken. Well, Chicken Charlie and all the food vendors really here at the fair are such a big part of the fair experience. It is. Food is, is really the reason we gather together. The rides, the games, the entertainment are all great, but really the basis of the fair, and especially this year under the theme Let's Eat, is all about food. And one of the things that you guys did this year, which is a really nice tie into the fairgrounds year round, mm. is the food truck Thursdays and bringing the food truck vendors here on the grounds. Yeah, you know, year round out in front of the Pack Amp on Thursdays, we bring in various food trucks and people come from all over and, and it's kind of a spontaneous lunch. Well, we decided this year to bring that into the fair. So on Thursdays, we had food truck Thursdays right down by the livestock area, and you can sample their food on Thursday mornings and Thursday afternoons as part of the fair. And that's each and every Thursday, and it's different vendors? It's just similar to what we do out in front of the pack camp every Thursday throughout the year. Well, obviously, food is just a part of the fair experience, and another really big part is the entertainment. So let's take a look and see what's on schedule this week at the fair. This week in the Pacific Amphitheater, it's another star-studded lineup of entertainers. Pat Benatar hits you with her best shot to open the week, and Bill Cosby and Huey Lewis in the news working for a living to round out the week. In the hangar, tributes to Prince, the Grateful Dead, Bruce Springsteen, and Pink Floyd make it a great week for baby boomers and Gen Xers in the hangar. And in the action sports arena, it's entertainment for the Y generation and X gamers as the action sports world tour takes over for a week of BMX and skateboarding. Michael Voltaggio, winner of season six of Top Chef, takes to the stage in the hangar for the third installment of the OC Fair Chef Series. This week's We Care Wednesday is a clothing drive. Free admission and one free carnival ride per person with the donation of five gently used clothing items. And don't forget to rise and shine on the weekends. Fair admission is just $2 from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Saturday and Sunday. And of course, the midweek midway promos continue. A busy entertainment schedule as usual, and Steve, we spent a lot of time on this show talking about the food and entertainment, but as you and I both know, there's a whole lot more to the OC Fair than just food and entertainment. Yeah, that's right. This is a really diverse event. We have everything from livestock, animals, petting zoos, Centennial Farm, all the way up to over 4,000 people from our community participating by putting in their arts and crafts their photography, their visual arts on display for all the community to see. So it really is a community participating event. Lots to see as usual. Remember, the OC Fair runs through Sunday, August 14th, and is open Wednesdays through Sundays. And definitely, Dane, the fair is half full and that there's so much left to do and see for all of you to come out and experience. So we look forward to seeing you, your family, and your friends here at the fair. So we look forward to seeing you and all your family here at the fair. I jumped the gun. I. <laughs> Where's my partner? I don't know. Well, did you my see partner? me? So we look forward to you, your family, and your friends joining us here at the fair. Where is he? I was even going to say at that time. Okay. <laughs> so we'll see you, your family, and your friends here at, at the, the fair. fair. <laughs> that didn't work. What, did you... <laughs> what was that? Yeah. You've got me so tight on this now. One more time. Okay. I'll never be CEO of anything. All right, where's Ryan? Is Ryan here today? I'm going home. We see you.